this is Jamie Miller, Senior Director of Government Relations at AMGA. And I'm Lauren Lightney, Director of Government Relations here at AMGA. And thank you for joining us for our installment of AMGA's Public Policy Update where we discuss Medicare cuts. So Lauren, it seems like we're once again faced with some potential cuts to Medicare. Uh, what are these cuts we're facing? So the cuts have already begun. Uh, there was a 2% uh, expiration of Medicare sequestration cuts that happened on March 31st. That led to a 1% cut on April 1st, and there's also going to be another 1% cut starting July 1st. There's also going to be a PAYGO um, cut starting in 2023, as well as a conversion compactor cut starting in 2023. So the race to begin stopping these cuts starts now. So what are the impact of these cuts? It's very interesting. So last year, AMGA did a survey of about 100 of its members, and they found that if these cuts fully go into place, there would be furloughs, also maybe delays in staff hiring, as well as cuts to patient services, and also delays in implementation of health equity and population health initiatives. So Medicare cuts are having a severe impact on our providers and practices, and that will likely start to put a lot of pressure on what happens at the end of the year in terms of financial financial planning. So with your many discussions with congressional leadership, uh, House and Senate, what are you hearing about what they want to do about this issue? So there's an acknowledgement that these cuts are coming and the impact of these cuts will be stark, but there's also a little bit of delay. Congress works on very weird deadlines. And so because most of the cuts will take place at the end of the year, you're likely going to start hearing discussions around this toward the fall, which means that now is the time to start making your voice known so that members of Congress are educated on this issue. So how can our members raise their concerns to members of Congress? So we have a lot of great programs that you can interact with, including the Stop the Cuts campaign. Um, there's a really great landing page on amga.org that looks at how to look at the issue briefs and how to reach out to your members of Congress. We also have the District Advocacy Program, which directly links uh, members of Congress and you through Zoom or through our conference line, as well as their staff. And if you want to make your feet known on the Hill, we have our upcoming Capitol Hill Day, which allows you to directly connect with members of Congress and their staff. All right. Well, how afraid should I be? Terrified. I should be terrified? Yeah. You heard it here.